the usual suspects, the white supremacists. The white supremacists have to come up with ways of having people, their subjects, tame at all times, just like you tame animals. Or you train animals to be tame when you're around and to go crazy when you're not around and turn on each other like dog fights. And that's what black people do in all the cities. You can see that. I mean, trying to run up the, the murder rate. Black people wake up in the morning and stick, you know, young black males, put their nine millimeters, I mean, down in their sock and around their waistband and have one down in their cargo pants. I mean, might have three guns, okay? And they feel powerful, powerful enough to do what? To make trouble for themselves and certainly to make havoc with other people that look exactly like them. All of the boys that they went to school with and all like that, hunting each other down. This is their full-time job in order to do what? Shoot at each other. Why? Because somebody put that in a video game, and it looked cool. Not stopping to think, now, is this the most constructive activity I can contribute to my 17 years of existence on this planet, my 34 years of existence on this planet? Is this all I can think about? Is there anything else anywhere on the planet or in the universe that I can think about that would make some kind of sense other than doing this? And then the females going around finger popping and chewing gum and looking wide-eyed and bumping into things. And then, uh, well, hey, this is life, and this is what I choose to do, and this is the greatest thing that ever was or ever will be is being a member of the bad girls club. So what is this all about? It's all according to the white supremacist plan. That's what it's all about. And it's supposed to be what? Falling in the category of what? Non-constructive activity. And then the white supremacists, who are not engaged in overall in constructive activity because everything they do is just about dominating and mistreating people based on color. That's their whole reason for breathing. If, if black people look like they're getting to the place they don't much like cocaine, mm -hmm. we'll come up with something else. We got about 15 dozen other items that we can feed them, and they're always looking for something new. Under the system of white supremacy, you can expect these things. These things are to be expected. Now, you can expect when they start out, to the extent that the white supremacist has anything to do with it. See, I can't say, uh, according to the code, I cannot say that the Virginia or the North Carolina legislature uh, and the people who are doing this uh, by name, I can't name the people who are doing this and call them racist. I will say that if it has anything to do with non-white people that is detrimental, then whomever the racists are, even if they're on the moon, they are to blame if it is somehow detrimental. If it's somehow non-constructive, you always blame the white supremacists for anything that happens in the system of white supremacy that shouldn't happen. So if people are being drugged up like this, the black people don't know anything about drugs. We've said that like for ages. You know, cocaine and all like that, we didn't know anything about that. Or, uh, we did, we didn't know how to use it in a detrimental way on a grand scale, like the white supremacists have done. Mm -hmm. So if they have come up with new types of drugs, and they probably have hundreds of types and hundreds of, of uh, different variations of detrimental drugs, which are just chemicals, by the way, they can mix and match them and whatnot in a laboratory and whatnot, and say, let's go try this on the black people. Okay, well, let's try drug A, and then we'll try uh, drug Q. Uh, five years down the road. Now, when we try them out, we'll get them hooked on it. Then we will condemn them for being hooked on it. And then we'll tell them that they are unfit, antisocial, and therefore disqualified for the job. And then we'll go to the next stage saying that, you know what, since you're so drugged up and your children are so drugged up and everybody you know is so drugged up, you all all come in next Thursday. And uh, I'm not going to punish you because, uh, after all, you are sick. Uh, but since you are a bunch of sick people, 
And you're kind of worthless, really, because you're unreliable on account of these drugs that you have chosen to take, on, to take uh, thinking that that will solve all your problems, and it just made a whole lot more problems. But you all come in, and I'll have mercy on you, and I'll just see to it that you don't have any offspring. So that'll be the next drug I'll give you. Come in, and all of you, all you dark-skinned people come in here and get sterilized because you're not going to do anything but produce a whole bunch of worthless children. And that's already been proven. You yourself say that your children are worthless. You even express how much they're worthless by, if I turn my back as your master for five minutes, you start killing each other. That's all you know what to do with each other. You don't know how to do anything with each other but kill each other and call each other names all day. You're constantly searching for newer and better names to call each other. You want to fight on the buses. You want to fight on the streets. So I'm just going to sterilize a bunch of you. Wow. And I'll be doing you a favor.